Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing great. So long time no see and I am behind a camera today to show you my new goodies. Um, I have been quite MIA for the past couple of days and that is because if you follow me on Instagram you already know I have been diagnosed with the coronavirus unfortunately and I have been fighting with the illness for the past week. Mm, I'm not gonna lie, it's been very, very hard for me. Um, I had very nasty symptoms and basically was bedridden. Um, so I feel a little bit better now. So it's the great opportunity to show you what I got during that period. Because obviously when I was laying in bed um, suffering, I had to enjoy myself a little bit. So I got some goodies, which I'm very, very excited about. Some are new releases. So yes, guys, if you're interested in what I got on the pandemic whim then keep on watching and i'm sorry i'm behind the camera not in front of it but um you know i'm still not feeling quite well um it's really hard for me to sit in front of the lights for a longer period of time so i hope you understand i'm just gonna show you everything on the table and yeah guys without any further ado Let's get into it. And of course, before we do, please don't forget to subscribe and of course, follow me on Insta. And yeah, let's jump right in. So as you can see, I got six fragrances right here and some have been really like random purchases, but some I was really excited about to get so let's start with the one that's actually a gift and that is a gift from my friend Andy um, if you don't follow him on Instagram he's a true artist and he's really good at taking fragrance pictures and this one is from Nakuna Helsinki it's a niche brand and this one is called Eho and as you can see, the bottle is really, really nice, very cute, uh, minimalistic. And this one is a very nice, sweet, ambery fragrance. Uh, but I must say this one is quite light. It's nothing super potent. It's perfect for every day. And I really like the DNA of it. It's just a nice, ambery, sweeter type of fragrance. Uh, nothing gourmandish, but it's still quite sweet. I really do like it. Um, in general, this brand is very nice to explore. I haven't heard um, about them before. Uh, and yeah, I'm really happy to have it and, you know, just get introduced to the brand. Uh, this one, if you like Amber, I think it's a great first purchase from the brand. So check them out. It's a really, really nice fragrance. Good for every day. Good to go to bed with. I wouldn't say it's a fragrance, you know, for parties and stuff. Mm, it's not as strong. But in general, it's a very nice DNA. So yeah, that is Nakuna Helsinki Iho. And by the way... Everything that I'm wearing on my hands will be linked below. And I just did my nails um, specifically for this video because I looked so ratchet. So yes, please appreciate the effort. <laughs> um, I spent like two hours today to do them, but yeah, they finally look good. So I can, you know, show you stuff with my hands and not be embarrassed. So yes, let's move on. Uh, I think I'm gonna go through another thing that I got from Andy because it's not available in Poland. He ordered it for both of us and that is Ariana Grande Thank You Next 2.0. So if you guys don't know already, I have a massive problem with the original Thank You Next. In the summertime, it's lovely, like this coconutty stuff. But now as the winter begin again, hate it. It's just gurken, cucumber, shit. I just don't like it. Again, uh, this one though, I already tried it. And first of all, the packaging is, you know, your typical Ariana Grande packaging. 
but you cannot expect me to not have tried it before this video, right? <laughs> so this is just, you know, just to show you the box. So yeah, bye Ari. So this is how the 2.0 looks like. And this is so cute inside and out. Kind of like me, lol. <laughs> uh, really, really pretty scent. Uh, this, I would say, it's definitely more wearable. It's easier to wear. It's still that, you know, girly, flirty vibe. Nothing too mature here. Uh, but I love it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. No matter if you're a beginner or an expert, rest assured Skillshare has a class for you. You can dive into improving your business skills, master your self-care, or fill your home with art pieces you have just created, all thanks to Skillshare wide range of classes you can take. Members get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes. Have you ever thought about starting your own business? Or maybe you already have one and need help with your workflow and productivity. Me, as a young business owner, I know all about it. Things can get piled up so quickly and suddenly it feels like it's too much to handle. Trust me, I know. If you need some guidance like I do, I am definitely recommending Skillshare business classes. It helped me so much to organize my day, my schedule and maintaining everything on time. Not to mention, in the last two years of the pandemic, so many of us started working from home and our lives have changed completely. Skillshare has some great classes for those of us who struggle with maintaining the work-life balance. Join now with a whole month of free trial. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description box down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. This one is really pretty. I really, really like it. Uh, it wears very nicely. I get nice six hours out of, out of it on my skin. Uh, so it's not bad at all. Of course, this heart is probably going to be trashed and I will be left with this bottle only. Uh, but other than that, very, very nice one. So don't be afraid if you didn't like the first Thank You Next because this one is so much nicer. Even though I had such high hopes in regards to the coconut, uh, this one is way nicer. It's fruity. It's, of course, sweet, uh, but it has this nice vibe, um, you know, typical to that Ariana Grande fragrance range that I personally love. So, yes, very, very good purchase. Really like it. I wish um, there was a bigger bottle, but this was the only uh, version that was available to us. So, yeah, that's the only bummer. But it looks cute and I think I'm actually gonna just put it in the car or in my purse and, you know, just respray it throughout the day. Uh, it really does last. So that's amazing. It has very nice longevity. I really like it for that. So yeah, guys, that is Ariana Grande. Didn't think I would have the uh, 2.0 Thank You Next, but here it is. I'm still waiting to get my hands on the Cloud 2.0. Cannot wait. Um, I hope it arrives soon to Europe. And if not, um, I'm probably going to ask some of my friends from the US to send me at least two bottles. But that's another topic. Uh, but this one, if you can get your hands on it, it's really, really lovely. I really like it. So yes, that is Ariana. And now this is really blocking the view. So I'm just going to get through it. So this is the Latafa uh but i would amethyst and i do have the oh hello you can see me in the <laughs> like i told you i'm ratchet right now so i wasn't lying <laughs> just saying uh the only thing that's nice on me are the fresh nails and that's it so yeah um this one is supposed to be a dupe dupe of um, my favorite fragrance of the moment, which is Inisu Atomic Rose. And let me tell you straight away, 
I only bought it because of that and it is not. So if anybody tells you like on Frograntica or YouTube, oh, it's a dupe for Initio Atomic Rose for a great price. Guys, don't listen to those people. I tried it, I tested it, it is not. What I really love about this fragrance is of course the box, the whole packaging. Even though La Chaffa is not expensive at all, they have really nice entourage. The bottles are heavy, sturdy, just beautiful. This is all metal, love it. When it comes to the presentation, they really do not fail. You even get this, you know, um, this little card that has some stuff in it. You know, it really um, puts you in that luxurious mood when you see the packaging and even this is very nice. So I cannot complain about packaging. And I really do like the black version, which is a supposed dupe of another Initio, which is Ud for Greatness. And that one I do not wear, but my boyfriend wears the black one. Uh, and it really does smell very good on him. Um, it's really nice. I wouldn't say it's exactly the dupe of Ud for Greatness, but it's definitely there. This one, however, I was really hoping that it would be a dupe for Atomic Rose because I go through that fragrance like through water. Let me tell you that and I need to take it out. Okay, so here's the bottle by itself. As you can see, it even has this nice plaque on it. And here it looks super good. I must say it really looks good. And the fragrance is not bad itself. It's just not similar at all. Like, oh, uh, no, just no. This is to me like typical rose oud of a fragrance with some spiciness, whereas um, Atomic Rose is so much more. It's like slightly like the Lina. It has that nutmeggy, um, hedion, rosy, vanilla vibe that the Lina has, uh, but it's just stronger and darker. This one, it just goes very far to anything that the Lina can be. It's not close at all. Uh, so with that being said, it's not close to Atomic Rose either. Um, the only thing from Atomic Rose that this one has is the strength of the rose and that slight spiciness. But other than that, honestly, Actually, let me spray that damn card because I didn't bring anything here. Yeah, no, no, guys, it's not that. It's not that. And also here, I get that same vibe that the black bottle has, that spicy nutmeg. Uh, I don't know if they actually did put it here, but I do really get it. So... It has really not much to do with Atomic Rose. Atomic Rose is still on my pedestal. Nothing can, uh, nothing can be compared to it, really. Uh, this one is good, great for the price, uh, but don't think it's a dupe for Atomic Rose. If you haven't smelled Atomic Rose and you're just buying into this one, um, don't be disappointed with Atomic Rose because they do smell differently. So get it only if you know how Atomic Rose smells and if you do not have any expectations that it would be a dupe because it really isn't. It really, really isn't. Uh, it's definitely more oriental, so to speak. Uh, you know, very Middle Eastern. Again, not like Atomic Rose. Um the longevity and projection is fantastic. Um, the black bottle is the same. The longevity projection are just exquisite on those. Uh, but uh, when it comes to being a dupe, it's a no-no. However, I'm still going to keep it because it looks really, really nice. I love the bottle and it's still a DNA that I do use and I do like. You know, it's a rose with some spices, uh, again, loads of nutmeg, in my opinion. I might be wrong, but that's what I smell. It's the same vibe that the Black Bottle gives me, uh, which is the vibe that Ud for Greatness gives me, you know, that nutmeggy thing. So, yes, 
you know, we all have different noses. Maybe it's just me, but tell me in the comments below if you feel the same way, if you know or own both scents, Atomic and this one. And yeah, I'm happy with the presentation. I'm happy with the longevity. I'm not too happy with the scent per se because I was hoping it would be a dupe. It is not, uh, but I'm still gonna, you know, play with it wear it i think it's also gonna be beautiful on my man so maybe actually he will keep it for himself who knows he loves the black one uh so maybe this one he will love as well so that is the amethyst from latafa and now i'm gonna leave the best for last because i know you guys really want a review of it I'm going to go into these and I have a little story about them, okay? So <laughs> bear with me. So these are, as you can see, surprise, surprise, two angels. And if you don't guys know already, I'm not a fan of angel whatsoever. I don't even love the flankers in general. Uh, I do have Angel Nova, the pig bottle. Actually, I have it right behind me. Ugh. Yep, here we have it. That's Angel Nova. Uh, and I do like it, but it's not my like favorite or anything. So yeah, uh, so that's that. And surprisingly, I don't know if it's the Rona. I don't know if it is the influence of my friend Andy. I mean, probably it is because he did send me loads of samples of angels. And these I got in the sample set that he sent me. The Angel Eau Crozier uh, from 2020 and Angel Iced Star. So this was last year release and this was from the two years ago. So uh, not very widely uh, available these days. Um, definitely not. It was very hard for me to find them. But when he sent me those samples, guys, I just fell in love. And I fell in love with these so much that I had to have the full bottles immediately. So I started looking. I literally went to the end of internet and finally got them. So here we have the first one, which is Eau Crozier. And actually, I'm wearing it at the moment as we speak and the packaging of angels this was still the one that didn't stand so i will just have to you know lay it down like this but you know i'm kind of okay with that i am reorganizing my perfume collection at the moment so let me know if you want to see that but anyways this is the eau crozier and this one is a praline fig fragrance and even though I'm not the biggest fan of fig, I'm not going to lie, uh, you know, with fig, I have to be careful because I get very tired of fig very quickly. But this one, oh my God, I love the combo of praline and fig in here. There is typical to angels, there is patchouli. However, it's really not strong at all. And I love it, guys. I really, really love it. And I cannot believe I didn't get my hands on it earlier. I think I was mostly hesitant because, first of all, it's Angel. Second of all, it had that fig in it. Uh, but combining that fig with patchouli, oh my gosh. What I also have to say about this, because I've been testing it for the last couple of days... The longevity is so nice on it, even though it's just an eau de toilette. So I'm very, very happy about this. So yeah, I haven't used much, of course, because I only had it for a couple of days, but I can attest to the fact that the longevity is very good. I can still smell it in my hair, on my skin, on my clothes. It's really, really, really good. And I really like the color combo on that star. I think these are just the ultimate perfect vacation scents. Um, you can, of course, wear them every day. They're very nice in general to be worn anytime you want. 
but for summertime they're just gonna be exquisite so that is the first one that is the eau Crozier 2020 with the fig and the next one is the iced star and honestly guys i was so angry with myself that i didn't get it when it was so widely available um last summer because I didn't even think about it. I didn't even think about getting my hands on it. I didn't think much about it. And this is such a precious baby of mine. I'm sorry for my, oh, I hate when you can see my fingers on the bottles, but this metal plaque is just so annoying. Uh, so yes, this one is just to die for guys. If you can still get it, get it this again has praline but also has coconut and pineapple and i am absolutely in love i don't think i was ever so amazed by a fragrance even though you know it's just like this typical summery beautiful fragrance that you wear to the beach or whatever uh, it could easily be an Escada fragrance. Of course, it's better. It's not as, you know, sweet and sickly and girly and juvenile. But it still has that Escada vibe, you know? I love it, though. It's fresh. It is coconutty. It is pineapple-y, uh, but not sickly sweet. It has that beautiful freshness that is just so intoxicating and that coconut and the praline, it, oh, I just cannot. Patchouli, I barely smell here. Like, there's almost no patchouli, in my opinion, in this fragrance. Uh, but the rest is just to die for. The longevity is very nice about it, even though it's just an eau de toilette. Uh, and in general, I'm just obsessed, guys. I'm just obsessed. As you can see, this one can stand. Uh, so it's easier to, you know, stack in your collection. Uh, but I think I'm just going to stack them like this or something like that, you know? Maybe like that. I don't know. But I think I'm going to figure it out with all those angels. It can look cute. There is potential here, don't you think? I think so. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so... Iced Star is my absolute favorite from the whole haul. Uh, this is my absolute gem. I'm so happy I found it. Um, I think this is my favorite fragrance from everything that I bought. I'm obsessed. I'm just obsessed, guys. So if you can still get it, you absolutely have to get it. It is beautiful and I think it's going to shine in spring and summer. So I'm very excited for spring already. I don't know about you, but... I'm really excited about spring. So yes, that is Ice Star. So, so happy I have it. I wish they did the bigger bottles. Guys, if you have access to Ice Star, the new bottles of it, or maybe you have it and you want to sell it, just hit me up. I can happily purchase it from you. So yeah, let me know. Let me know because I think I need backups. I am obsessed with this fragrance. Actually, let me spray it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It is just amazing. It is like a pina colada, but not that, you know, nasty, soury, milky pina colada. No, no, no. This is next level beautiful. Fresh and sweet. Amazing. Just amazing. So yeah, enough about this. Let me get into the last one, which is La Nuit Trésor the intense version and i know i'm one of first people who have the full bottle and guys if you live in poland um check out the lancome's website because they currently have the discounts i got this bottle 30 percent off so instead of um, 500 or 600 zloty polish zloty I paid um, 390 which is around, I don't know, $80, something like that. Uh, around $100, basically, I paid. So it was for a new fragrance and 100ml, 
it was a steal let me tell you that and yeah let me unbox it for you uh let me tell you straight out of the bat that i will be making a full review of this fragrance in another video uh, comparing to all the other La Nuit Tresors be because I think they do deserve it. This is how the bottle looks like. Really cute, I must say. Uh, so this one is 100ml and this is the biggest La Nuit Tresor that I have because the rest of my collection is 75ml. And yeah, the flower is cute, everything is cute, you know, typical Lancome La Nuit Tresor packaging. But to the fragrance this to me is a rosy almond fragrance yeah so you have almonds they're not too extremely prominent but they are there you can smell them for sure so if you love almond you're gonna really enjoy it uh, the rose is um quite similar to the background of La Nuit Trezor à la Folie, uh, but definitely more rosy, you know? Def the rose is definitely very much here. So you do have to like rosy fragrances to enjoy this fragrance. That's also like warning you. I'm warning you guys, it's very rosy. Um, what else when it comes to longevity i'm still testing it but i must say i do not think it beats the longevity of the original or the a la folie so even though they say it's the intense version i don't find it to be extremely you know incredible when it comes to the lasting power uh, but it's still very decent, of course. Like, I'm not saying it's not. I get, um, as far as I tested it, I get around seven hours from this. So it's not bad. Uh, but, you know, it's not like 12 hours plus of longevity or anything like that. No. Uh, also, I find the projection to be quite moderate, so to speak. Uh, I don't think it's particularly strong. I actually think the A La Folie and the original have better projection, surprisingly again. Um, again, it's not bad, but it's not, you know, it shouldn't be called intense, uh, at least in my opinion. I still have to test it out more. Maybe, you know, when I go outside maybe when i try it more because i did get it for my birthday from my boyfriend and um i think uh right after that uh, when we came back from the birthday weekend i got the rona so i was stuck stuck in my house and in bed so i didn't have a chance to uh, go out wearing this too much and i didn't take it with me for that weekend you know so i still have to test it out outside i only wore it around the house so maybe when it's outside maybe when the weather actually hits this fragrance it changes who knows um i will try it more and more and let you know of course as i said i will be doing a full-on review of all La Nuit Trezor fragrances because I think uh, you deserve, guys, a full review on them because at the moment I have all of them except from the mask one. So I think we can do a nice roundup and I'm going to tell you which one is worth getting, which one isn't. So yes, um, this one will be coming up. And for now, I'm just going to keep testing it, you know. Uh, but yeah, I love these bottles. They're so pretty. Uh, so yeah, it's a very nice addition to the family. Uh, when you want something different, it's definitely worth getting because it's not um, like the others. It's nothing, you know, uh, completely copied from the other two. Um, it's different. It's definitely different. So in that um regard i do highly recommend it so yes guys this is the new la nuit trezo intense pretty pretty and that is it guys 
So that is it for today, my darlings. I'm going to end this video here because I'm already getting sweaty from fever. Um, yeah, I hope my voice was not too annoying. I know I'm a little bit congested and it's really nice. And it's really not nice to listen to me. I am aware of that. Uh, so very, very sorry about this. But I was too excited and I really wanted to show you these fragrances for the longest time. So guys, please do not forget to subscribe. And of course, follow me on Insta and see you in my next one. I will hopefully will be able to record as usual. Love you guys. Bye.